Well, I want to bring in now a great friend of this program, Republican Congresswoman from Colorado, Lauren Boebert, is back with us. Congresswoman, it's great to see you. Great to see you too, Grant. And, you know, last night's debate was certainly interesting. And the frustration, those emotions of anger that we saw from the president, I think that's something that every American is facing right now with wide open borders and increase in crime rates and a failing economy, not being able to afford to buy a home. That's one of the biggest contrasts between President Trump's policies and Kamala Harris's policies. Under President Trump's administration, Americans could afford to buy a home and participate in the American dream. And under Kamala Harris and Joe Biden, well, in just three and a half years, it's near impossible for first time home buyers to purchase that home. So that anger and frustration, I believe, is a form of compassion that the president uh, was was displaying last night in the debate. And it's certainly frustrating when Kamala Harris is able to stand there and lie some 27 times without a a single fact check while the moderators were certainly helping her assisting in this debate uh, by fa fact checking President Trump over and over again. Bottom line is under President Trump, you can afford to be a homeowner. Our borders will be secure. Your pets will be safe and our economy will be strong once again. All right. Do you think this moved the needle for either candidate e either way? I, I'm not sure. I think if you're undecided in this, I, first off, Congresswoman, I, I don't know how anybody in America is undecided where you can't choose between complete two total polar opposites. It just boggles my mind that there are people still deciding between these two. But if you were, I don't know if either candidate has picked you to, to come to their side. And I think that's a really in large part because ABC did such a bad job at hosting this debate. I would agree on the actual stru structure of the debate. Uh, that is a big reason why uh, this debate probably didn't change many hearts and minds throughout America. Uh, President Trump was uh, all Trump and Kamala Harris was all lies. Certainly she was scripted. She uh, did a pretty good job, a decent job of uh, fluffing up uh, a, a form of hope. But the main question is, why haven't you done it? For three and a half years, we have lived under Biden Harris, and Harris has to claim responsibility for these disastrous policies throughout our country because, in many of them, she was the tie breaking vote in the Senate. Uh, when it comes to spending trillions of dollars and adding to our almost $36 trillion in national debt, uh, tagging that debt on our children and our children's children, destroying the economy, and uh, in even propping up a certain industry over others, like in our energy sector, uh, where they have uh, propped up renewable energy over fossil fuels instead of allowing the market to so, decide. They have been a best friend to China. So I don't think that this changed any hearts or minds. Uh, and maybe if we could ever get a fair moderator, uh, we could have a real debate. So, you know, imagine going into a prize fight and every time you got your opponent on the ropes, they ring the bell, whether the round's over or not. They just end it. This is what happened. They would cut to break. They would cut them off. They would change topics. Let me play you a clip of an issue that both you and I feel very strongly about. That's the disastrous withdrawal from Afghanistan, uh, one of the biggest debacles of the Biden-Harris administration. Let me play this clip and then get your response here. And on. these people did the worst withdrawal and, in my opinion, the most embarrassing moment in the history of our country. And by the way, that's why Russia attacked Ukraine, because they saw how incompetent she and her boss are. President Trump, thank you. I want to move on now to race and politics in this country. So, Congresswoman, they just move on. We're not even going to have you respond to that. Just move on and let's not talk about Afghanistan. It's, it's diabolical. It absolutely is. And these are the same people who say that the Biden-Harris administration has been scandal free. Well, I think that was the largest scandal that has taken place there uh, at Abbey Gate, uh, at, at Kabul, with uh, with our military being taken out, American citizens being left behind, and 13 of our nation's heroes uh, losing their lives. And then, of course, when they were brought home to Dover, Joe Biden checking his watch, uh, showing that he didn't want to be there 
there, didn't have time to be there at the State of the Union when I called him out for killing those 13 service members after having spoke to those Gold Star families personally, met with them in person. And, uh, you know, the next day, uh, his spin doctor, Jen Psaki, said that he didn't have time to address the Afghanistan surrender to the Taliban. Those are my words, not hers, during the State of the Union. Uh, but this was one of the very first scandals that we saw. And look at what the moderators did. They, they went to their favorite topic after President Trump is addressing a very serious issue where we have fallen soldiers, where we have Gold Star families who are ignored largely by this administration, by Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. They went to race in politics. Well, yeah. we don't like yeah. what you're saying. You're probably right here. So we're going to pull the race card. Yeah. Race in politics after all that, which is exactly what they want to thrive and feed into. Uh, Colorado Congresswoman Lauren Boebert, it's great having you on the program. We appreciate you. Thanks so much, Grant.